All right, we're on our way to the next job. Actually, we're here at our next job. They got a banging sound. When either the water heater's on or the heat comes on. So let's check it out, see what's going on. Sure. Trust me, I've seen much worse. <laughs> People use the steps like a Costco. It's off right now. I don't know if he shut it off with that red switch. There is another red switch on the staircase going up, so I have no See idea. It. Or if he just lowered the heat, I don't know. But just See it? Turn around. Turn around. Oh, that's good. Okay, yeah, that's let's turn this on. Mm -hmm. oh, see? That's good. Circular. Circle is making a ton of noise. Is this a steam boiler? I know it's a new boiler, yep. I, mean, I can tell you. It's a steam boiler. Okay. This is the first issue we've had since we got it. All right, well, let's check it out. Okay. Does this light get any brighter? Uh, not so much. No? Yeah, okay. Do you have to have a light bulb? Yeah, if not... You can, you can get out of anywhere. No, yeah, all right, see, let's get a light. All right. No, cool. I'm saying you can, you can, you can, you can yeah, it's fine. No, no, no. It's, 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 I think it's getting a little bit brighter, but we'll get some more light. No okay. big deal. I'm like, just like, working at my desk. Okay. Maybe? Sure. Okay. I'll give you a holler if I need anything. Okay. All right. We got a steam boiler. Sight glass is back there. Very, very tight spot. But apparently, they're using this Green Mountain steamer. All right. And they have an indirect hooked up. And it looks like the indirect is piped into the bottom of the boiler with the circulator here. And as you heard, she's making a ton of noise. So either something is, it's either it's air bound, it's maybe clogged up with just sludge uh, or the circulator's bad, or the impeller's cracked, something like that. So what we're going to try to do first is Stephen's going to get a hose, a little hose. And a bucket. Yeah, and a bucket too. Yes, correct. Maybe get two hoses. Gotcha. Two little hoses, like the one we just cut uh -huh. from the last job. Gotcha. And we'll take some water from the indirect there and tie it into that right there and close that bowl valve right there. Then we'll, if I, oh, I wish this valve was there, but then we'll close this valve, open up the water, you know, filling, filling it with, yeah, because it'll loop through around, filling it with domestic water on the hydronic side and then open this and open this and see what kind of slush, you know, we're going to try that first. And if that doesn't work, then we're going to take apart the circulator. We'll not take it apart, but we'll take it out. And I'll close the valves and we'll see what's going on. Right. Follow the piping, leaves there, goes down, comes to here. Leaves, where is the other side of it? Where is the other side of it? Leaves there, sorry. Goes back around, right, to here. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, she's attached, she's open. I got some chocolate milk coming out of there. All right, not a lot though, but now let's open this up, see what we got. Just kind of clogged up. Yeah. She's clogged up. Let me get a, like a wrench. I just want to bang on that valve real quick.
no real change. All right. All right, still no change. Let's take this apart and see what we see. It's gonna be a little bit of a mess. What am I, stupid or something? Why don't lefty loosey righty tighty? Right? You need to get you a shirt? Let's just loosen up that bolt right there. We'll do the other side. So I loosen it up, mm -hmm. and then I can get my bucket under it completely. And we'll see what kind of disaster we're gonna see here. Take a 007. Mm -hmm. Good circulator. Workhorse. I like ours better. I like the, yeah. <laughs> I like the ease, mm -hmm. the ECM circulators, and that's what she's gonna get if this uh, can't be salvaged. Mm -hmm. All right, that's out of there. Let's just do the bottom ones. And if you notice, nothing's leaking. Mm -hmm. And that's because that gasket is basically seized on that. Mm -hmm. So, let's see what happens. Yeah. Let's close this valve. Good. So take a look at that. Yeah. She needs a new circulator. Mm -hmm. And she also needs to be reminded that you have to mm -hmm. drain us out and flush it out. Yep. Because we have a hundred year old house here mm -hmm. with majority of the piping a hundred years old. You know, those fragments are slowly making its way back to the boiler. And uh, just for shits and giggles, let's see if we can break this apart and see what we see in there. Mm -hmm. What did that I see? Did it fall in? I don't know. But let's take a look inside there. I don't know, it's going to be hard to see. Inside there. Ugh. Yeah. This is full of just junk. It's hard to see in there, but it's in there. Oh my God, I can go at a higher angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See all that junk in there? She shot. But the problem here is, this is gonna reoccur. Yep. So this stresses the importance of doing, you know, service, flushing it out on a regular basis. And maybe, uh, you know, once a month. All right, let's tell them the bad news and the good news. So I call up the homeowner, because mm -hmm. the wife is two floors up. I figured not, not bother her. Let's mm -hmm. call up the, the husband. Yep. And I uh, tell him what's going on, and he goes, oh, that sucks. He goes, but I sold the house last week, and I'm just renting it for the next month and a half. So, yeah, just replace the circulator. Mm -hmm. Not my problem anymore. Sure. I'm like, all right. He's right. <laughs> He's right. <Yeah. laughs> but, you know, yeah. we'll put a, uh, a service tag here mm -hmm. that replaced indirect water heater circulator, and advise client to flush on a periodic basis. Copy. You know, that way, A, we, we, uh, cover, we our cover our ass, ass yeah. right? And B, you know, it will be a future call from the new homeowner. Yes, sir. You know, I don't care about, you know, the, you know, the guy's moving or not. I don't really care. Mm -hmm. I want to maintain the house for, for life, the of life course. of the house. And when the guy moves, you know, hopefully he'll, it's in our area and we can still service him. For sure. And then you get two birds, one stone. Let's get the circulator replaced. Okay, it's me, I'm back. Yes, sir. It's amazing, you guys watch like these 20 minute videos and I'm, you know, it takes about an hour, hour and a half, two hours to do the job, but that's the great thing about having these phones, just can record everything. All right, I got my new Tego 007E ECM high efficiency circulator installed. She's circulating, she's hot, hot, Sahara hot. Checking circulation, she's hot there too and hot there as well. Uh, she already um, fired up a couple times. Meeting temperature to this aquastat here, which turns the boiler on and off to that relay right there. And this is the tank in, the tank aquastat, aquastat, and she's still heating. We tested water, we're good to go. 
Um, this is a quite easy service call. I did remind them that, you know, you should maybe once, you know, two or three times during the heating season to flush this out. Forget about just draining it, but to flush it out. But he's like, listen, I'm selling the house. Um, it is what it is. So we left the service tag right there. I'm just going to write in there, uh, advised customer to flush out heating loop for indirect. And of course, you know, no one's going to see that until it's too late. So she just turned off again. We're still circulating. And we're good to go. All right. Special shout out to the 34.1 percenters. 34.1%. 1, 34.1% of viewers of this channel are subscribers. You know, when I first started talking about percentages and things like that, you know, we were at like 20, 22%. And in about a month, month and a half, look at that, 34%. It's awesome, guys. I really appreciate the support. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get post notifications when I upload or go or live stream, hit that notification bell. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Be well. God bless.